Now y'all know me And y'all know I love a good list I love a fun list I love when people do their top 5 this Top 10 that I love going over it I do not like making my own list But I love going over other people's lists um, And this one is no different Colin Coward he keeps it interesting Because he um, After week 11 He compiled a top 10 list The, the, the top 10 teams in the NFL according to him um, And he left the Baltimore Ravens out And, and I was like okay Because when I first listened to it I was just waiting The list he went from 10 to 1 And as he went from 10 I'm like okay are the Baltimore Ravens going to be next And he went to 9 And I was like okay are they going to be next And he went to 8 Then 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 And I was like is he going to have them ranked as a number 2 team and Then they went to 2 and it wasn't them Then he went to 1 And I was thinking oh is, uh, Does he really consider us the best team And it was not And I was like whoa he, did I miss something? Because I, I, I didn't hear us be called. I heard some other teams' names get called, but I did not hear the Ravens. But anyway, let's go over Colin Coward's top 10 teams list. And, of course, you let me know if you agree or you disagree. I'm sure it should be fun. Now, number 10, the Bucks. What? <laughs> like, What? The Bucks are, are literally five, and, and, and it's not all about the record. It's not all about the record. Obviously, beyond the record, you got to take the eye test. What do you see? What is what, what does this team show you uh, to make you feel one way or another about them? But with the Bucks sitting at five and five, and the Ravens like they beat up on them. The game was, it was close for a little while, but the Ravens they they start pulling away, and, and then they 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 made it happen in Tampa. So I, I just that right there, I was like, "What? How do you put the Bucks over the right that Tom Brady, the one we've been watching?" Uh, but anyway, moving on. At number nine, the Vikings. I'm like, okay, cool, no problem with that one. They eight and two. Uh, that they probably would have been a little higher on my list, but I know some people not fully sold on the Vikings and what. Okay, cool, whatever. Next up at number eight, the team that whooped the Vikings, the Cowboys. Okay. Cool, they number eight. Now, number seven, a little interesting, the Titans. And Titans, they seven and three. I'm like, okay. And Titans are like a very quiet seven and three. I've been hearing a little more about them recently, but still not too much. But, hey, their record is what their record is. Number six, the Philadelphia Eagles, um, who are sitting at nine and one. Almost thought they were going to be sitting at eight and two when they were playing the Colts, but they end up taking care of business at the very end. Um, now I'm surprised they're not a little bit higher, especially with their record, the best record in the NFL, but it is what it is. Now, um, number five, the Miami Dolphins. Okay, Miami Dolphins, they, they've been doing their thing, and Tua, Tua been doing his thing. I don't, I don't think Tua lost a game that he started and finished yet. I don't believe so, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, Dolphins, they definitely, with the additions that they made, they, they went all in for Tua to make sure that they find out exactly who he is or who he isn't. Uh, he been doing a good job. And number four, another team that the uh, that the Ravens played, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they he got them at number four. Now I'm like, okay, cool. They they sitting at seven and three. Um, and yeah, they they deserve to be one of the top ten teams in the league. I will say for sure. Now number three, this is where it got even weirder because first, like the most of the lists I'm cool with, but number ten the Bucks, but then number three the Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals with a 6-4 and four record. They only won game behind the Ravens. And they got a winning record. But the Ra and the Ravens, they, the game with them was close. It was a very close one. But the Ravens pulled it out. They, they won. And even if you felt like the Bengals are a better team, you could be like, oh, well, T. Higgins, he was hurt that game. Um, so he, he didn't even finish the game. And the Ravens barely edged it out. Okay, so... Would that really be enough for you to have the Bengals sitting at number three versus the Ravens not even on the list at all? I was like, what number? Bengals sitting that high? <laughs> like, what? Like, I mean, anyway, number two, the San Francisco 49ers. Um, and then at uh, uh, number one, the Kansas City Chiefs. So that's, a, that's his list. Again, very interesting list. Kansas City being at the top, I, I got no problem with that. That's cool. Um, but, the, like, again, only issues with this list, Bengals and Bucks. Bengals and Bucks, especially 
because Ravens took care of business against both of those teams. And then on top of that, I know, again, it's not all about the record, but the record is kind of important. Uh, so the, the, the Ravens have a, a better record, a significantly better record than both of those teams. Again, one five, five and five and the other one six and four. Well, not significantly more than the Bengals, but still. They, like, I, I just, I don't see how you can put the Bengals leaps at number three team in the league. Now, the Bengals are not bad by any means, but number three, and the Ravens not even on. You see, this, again, I, lo I love going over people's list. And whether I agree with him or disagree with him, I, I just love seeing this list. But this one, Colin Coward, this one was a little crazy. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Shout out to Graven.